Today we're going to do the sixth video for databases, and it'll be on queries. My name's Nev, and uh, let's go. So I'm just going to copy that database. Today is, oh, what is it, the 28th. Okay. And in previous videos, we have created some forms, and there are some tables which we imported from Excel spreadsheets. So if I want to create a query, I can use the query wizard, but the first query that I'll do, I'll just use the query design. We'll use table calls. I can add that with the button here. Uh, I can double click, and I can also double click on the status table. So let's close that. Now, this can be rearranged in a way uh, this status table is a lookup table and it just forces us to have either open or closed for the status likewise we could have a lookup table for priority but we haven't uh, actually done that yet once here we can double click and decide on what fields we want in our uh, in our query here now, so I would like to know the company address and the suburb. Note that company name I could choose between either of the fields here, the company here or the company name uh, in the company table, um, and the state and the postcode. If I were to run that, I see quite a bit of repetition. Uh, let me just go back. I'll add a couple more fields. I'm going to record the status now. If I want it, I can just drop it in there. Um, and the priority. Uh, let me actually just change the priority to before the status. Okay, let's look at that now. So if I want to, I can click on a column and I can sort. So I've got all my closed calls finished uh, uh, there first and my uh, open calls at the bottom. Likewise I could reverse that. So these are the calls that I still need to work on. Now I can put a more comprehensive filter than that in. Uh, I could make sure these are descending and then I could also sort by company name company name. So let's look now where I've got all my, or oh, did I do priority? Hang on, hang on, let me go back and check that. Yes, I did priority. Let's delete that and here we will do status descending. Okay, so all my open calls are first and I've got my companies in alphabetical order. All right, <clears throat> so uh, you can sort very quickly. You can do this in the table format as well. We didn't go through it, uh, but so you have these quick sorts here, but what is possible with company, with queries, is that we can select or we can sort. Now here's an example of sorting. Now let's just suppose that I wanted to sort by company and then by status. If I put the company sort to the left of the status, then I will get companies in order. Whoops, uh, QRST. What's B doing down here? Hang on, I've got, uh, I must still have a sort in here for priority. Let's get rid of that. Have I got anything in here for priority? No. Maybe that's still on the form. So let's be sure. Let's get that company right over to the left. Let's get status next. And when we run, we have got company is not sorting properly. What is going on? Company table calls ascending. Status descending view. Well, just to override it, I'm going to make sure that's there. And if I go descending, yeah, so 
we should have, have we got a company here which now we should have the opens ahead of the closed status. Let me just try ascending and see if that changes things. Uh, closed ascending. Uh, big cow. Closed first and then the open is at the bottom. So that's ascending. Let's go back and do descending. We've got big cow open and then closed. So big cow, I can see what still needs to be dealt with. Okay, that appears to be working. Now, let's suppose that we do want to just look at one company. If I were to put that company name in here, I will now only get that one company. So we have done a selection. What about if I want all the companies that start with T? I can put T star because that means T with anything else behind it. You'll notice that as I tab out of that field, it automatically puts the like in there. So I've got all of the T companies now selected. So we have got the uh, basics here for our query. Let's go file. Whoops, I beg your pardon. Uh, let's go back. We could do file save object as, but I'm just going to click here. I'm going to call that QRY company uh, uh, details. And you can manipulate that query as you need. So I'm going to close that one. And what I'm going to do now is use the query wizard and we'll create a crosstab query. This is really quite something. So we're going to use the calls table next. And we're going to uh, get our company name, double click, surname, first name is enough info for the moment. Let's go so you can see company, surname, first name. Next we'll have a look at the call number and so we can see how many call numbers are made for each of those companies. And we'll uh, work out, we're going to count. Hang on, what's, which values, yes, call number, uh, hang on, we want to check the priority, how many um, low, medium and high priorities they have got. Yep. And in here we're going to check the call number and we're going to count the call numbers. Next, and we're finished, I'm going to call this query calls, cross tab, QRY, and let's view it. And so I can see that uh, Gecko have got Altogether, three calls, one high, one low, one medium. Now, because I've put these surname and first name in, I've got a real problem. It's not counting these. I, I, what I really want is one record for each company. So I'm going to go back to Design View, and I'm actually going to delete this surname and first name. Delete. And let's run it again. And now I can see that Gecko has got three calls and one of each. And Deep Snail has got just one call. Uh, here, Hamster, we've got three calls, two highs and one low. So that sort of information is actually brilliant if you're doing some statistics on your uh, data. Remember, there could be thousands of records here. That's enough for this video.